Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99 back on the fight front. Once again, make sure y'all subscribe. I'm back with my post fight thoughts on Jamal Charlo, Jamal Charlo versus Dennis Hogan. Jamal Charlo, he was able to score a big seventh round knockout over Dennis Hogan. This was another different look for Charlo. You know, he was facing the awkward, fast fighter in Hogan, who, who of course, was just moving up to middleweight. But, you know, he had a pretty uh, close, controversial fight against uh, Jaime Munguia. So I felt like even though Hogan was moving up, you know, he was going to use that speed and counter style that would make Charlo have to kind of kind of just keep cool and adapt and kind of break Hogan down. And um, he was able to do that. You know, he proved again that, you know, he has the power and the power and the strength to finish guys off at middleweight. Um, first couple of rounds, you know, I felt like Hogan, you know, he was trying to use that movement and that boxing, that boxing style that he used against Jaime Munguia to kind of keep Charlo off balance. But, you know, Charlo just kept his cool. He played the puncher role and um, he was using his boxing skill to kind of back Hogan up and just uh, take him apart. Um, Hogan, you know, he had his, he had his moments, uh, few moments early on with his jab and his left hook but charlo his jab was much better it was the longer sharper jab and he was keeping hogan off balance with it hogan you know he kind of likes to leap in with those flurries and leap out and he also likes to come over the top with that overhand right but charlo i feel like he was uh, able to time those rushes and just kind of work the body of hogan every time he stepped in you know every time he would kind of step in with the overhand right charlo was going straight to his body and making him leave you know back out without getting anything off um Fourth round, this is where we saw the power of Charlo kick in when uh, Hogan leaped in and um, didn't get out fast enough. And Charlo, he caught him with a hard like left hook slash uppercut and then uh, dropped Hogan. Uh, Hogan got back up. He looked unsturdy, but I already knew it was just a matter of time, man. I knew he wasn't going to be able to take shots like that. Um, Charlo just continued to put pressure on him throughout five and six, you know, just boxing real patient, walking him down, walking Hogan down, you know, just taking the legs away. And uh, finally, by the seventh round, Hogan... Um, was backing up as Charlo was stalking forward and he was about to step to his left but Charlo leaped in real quick with that left hook and cracked him with another good one dropped Hogan Hogan he was out of you know he got back up but he was out of it, and the referee went on and stopped it you know counted him out it was another good knockout for Charlo man um I know I like I said Hogan was moving up but it was definitely a different look you know it was definitely a different look for Charlo you know some of these kind of fast awkward boxes kind of like you know um, Matt Carbov, you know, he was another boxer that Charlo kind of had to adapt to and, you know, you know, just get another, just get another look. You know, I, I was kind of glad that he's kind of been, um, able to test his punching skills, you know, being the more patient stalker in the fights, you know, so, um, all of these comp, all of these different fighters he's been kind of fighting now, you know, um, they're like lower levels of guys like, you know, BJ Saunders, Canelo and Andrade, but of course, you know, they're going to get him ready, you know, they're going to get him ready mentally. So hopefully, man, we can see, you know, we can see him in there with Canelo soon or, or Demetrius Andre. But if if he doesn't get one of these guys, I'd like to see him in there with uh, Chris Eubank Jr. next. You know, even though uh, Chris Eubanks didn't get um, didn't really make the statement against uh, Matt Karbov because, um, you know, Matt Karbov in his fight, he hurt his shoulder in the second round. So he lost by TKO to Chris Eubank. And um, it was starting to look like a competitive a competitive fight in the first round. You know, Matt Karbov won the first uh, first round easy in a Chris Eubank fight, but in the second um, round, he kind of overextended the left hand and it looked like he hurt his shoulder. So he left the ring real quick and, you know, the fight was already stopped. But um, yeah, man, I think that uh, Charlo and uh, Eubank, that would be a good fight. You know, uh, they were kind of talking trash about each other during this press conference and everything. So I feel like that would be a good matchup. You know, very solid name and attraction for both guys. And uh, honestly, I got Charlo winning that fight, but it would still be kind of interesting, you know, puncher versus puncher matchup. You know, they they're both different punches in their own way. But I feel like Charlo, he has the better uh I feel like he has the better style and I think he's a better stalker in a fight. So yeah, definitely want to see that matchup. You know, shout out to Charlo, you know, he put out a good statement win again over Dennis Hogan. But yeah, that would be a good one to uh to happen, you know, next. But um yeah, that's all I got on this one, guys. Let me know in the comment section what y'all thought of the fight. Make sure y'all subscribe. Combo breaker ninety nine. I'm out. Peace.